modern society really runs on its cleaning, manufacturing, food preparation, healthcare. We think that Professor Layton's invention could be a major step forward. Some might say a game changer. The Brian Mercer Award is related to a device which cleans. It looks like a small stream of water, but it has the power to clean extraordinarily well. It basically takes a very established process and turns it on its head. Professor Tim Layton is the winner of the Royal Society 2011 Brian Mercer Award for Innovation. I like acoustics because it, it, it connects very closely with the human body and the human senses. With sound waves, we feel things that we don't even know we're feeling, the rumble through our feet, the rumble in our stomachs, the uh, sounds of music, the alarm calls of a baby crying, and anything that can generate sound, if you shoot sound at it, it will oscillate or vibrate in sympathy. Tim has had a lifelong interest in the science of acoustics and is the author of over 200 publications in the field. His main collaborator at Southampton University is the chemist, Dr. Peter Birkin. As a result of over 10 years of collaboration, they have invented an ultrasonic cleaning nozzle. The device generates bubbles and ultrasound waves that travel down a stream of water. When the bubbles touch a surface, they act as microscopic smart scrubbers removing dirt. Uh, the need really came about through being approached to look at this idea of producing something which would clean a surface with low power, low water flow rates, uh, be relatively mobile and could be used in the field. And so we started off looking at um, basic cavitation science, how we could actually clean surfaces, particularly those which were structured, because structured surfaces seem to be one of the major problems for cleaning. Professor Bill Keevil researches the cleaning of surgical instruments and sees great potential in the invention. Our research has been showing us it's actually quite difficult to clean surgical instruments properly, certainly within the short time that they would be within a washer disinfector in the sterile service department. In particular, we're concerned with prions such as CJD in humans and BSC in cattle because these are aberrant proteins they have an altered structure which makes them very resilient to uh, cleaning and disinfection. So we're interested in new technologies. Professor Layton's technology is very exciting because it's looking at a completely new way to decontaminate a surface. We need to be able to clean both hard materials like scalpels and, and, and surfaces and soft materials such as human flesh and lettuce leaves. We have ultrasonic cleaning baths but you can only dunk things in there that are tough. You couldn't put the human hand in it. And only devices that are small enough to fit in the bath can go in there. So rather than having uh, systems which apply uh, a sound source within a tank into which things which need to be cleaned are immersed, it places the technology, the cleaning process, on the end of a pipe, which means it can be directed to where it's needed. It can also be much better controlled uh, as to how it impinges on a surface uh, and how the cleaning process goes forward. And that opens up possibilities for exploiting it, perhaps in textile cleaning or even in skin cleaning for healthcare benefits. Uh, and so it's quite a step forward as to how the technologies can, can be uh, applied to, uh, to cleaning processes. The, the device is a powerful sound source and water flows into that, the sound hits it, and both water and sound are then uh, squeezed through a little horn so you've got a trickle of water coming out with ultrasound coming down it and then we introduce bubbles as well. Now we have two modes of operating depending on whether we're cleaning something that's hard and tough or whether it's delicate. So the first one is the high power option and we send th then sound waves down the stream of liquid. They hit the bubbles as the bubble hits the, the surface to be cleaned and they collapse those bubbles um, and those bubbles give out shock waves and, and remove dirt from the surface. The second technique is uh, the low power option and there we don't collapse the bubbles, we don't make them give out shock waves, we just tickle them and when they tickle these bubbles their shape shimmers and they look like microscopic little scrubbing machines and they travel down onto the surface that's where it gets really clever. These bubbles, these little microscopic scrubbing brushes, travel over the surface, seeking out crevices, they find them and then they burrow into them and they stay there, cleaning stuff out of this crevice. That's how it works. We developed the technology from uh, the basic concepts of the, the physics and the chemistry and we took it through to a sort of a, a very early stage prototype which was very successful and this Brian Mercer Award can hopefully take the prototypes which are now significantly developed 
away from the lab and put them into other environments to test them into the real world. We're here in Cardiff to visit the premises of Ultrawave, which is a leading manufacturer of cleaning baths. We're pretty excited about the prospect of working with Southampton because as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the most important development in ultrasonic technology and the cleaning technology for many years. It offers the possibility of portable cleaning device so that we don't have to bring the items to the static bath to be cleaned, but we can actually take the cleaning device to the, um, the item to be cleaned. Tim Layton's um, technology offers the prospect of a, a product which will make cleaning easier, faster, um, more efficient and saving time and potentially lives. It's a great honour to get the Brian Mercer Award and the recognition from the Royal Society, but it's more than an honour, it's really a lifesaver for this project. It doesn't cover patent fees, it doesn't cover infrastructure costs, but it's leveraged money out of other groups to pay for patenting fees. Schemes such as the Royal Society Mercer Award offer universities and academics the chance to elevate the status of their technology and increase its profile. Uh, and that's crucial because it means that then venture capitalists, businesses, potential uh, purchasers of the technology have visibility of it. And that's not always the case when it's um, just been developed on a lab bench. Uh, sometimes it takes many years for technologies to reach maturity. And so an accelerated route to market, which is the sort of thing that, uh, that this um, award can offer, um, is, is a great, uh, great step forward. It's a great way of enhancing innovation and extending innovation in academia.